Hey, good afternoon, Tony. Colin Kimball here with Alderman Chevy, Buick GMC in Rutland, Vermont, Vermont's favorite car dealership. We appreciate your inquiry on this beautiful SUV. Super excited to get to show you this thing today. Now, this is our 2023 GMC Acadia SLE. That does stand for Special Luxury Edition. I'm gonna show you exactly what makes this thing luxurious. Now, there's almost $3,000 in savings available on this beautiful SUV. Very, very good deal on a new vehicle. Now this one here is a 2.0 liter four cylinder turbo engine married to a nine speed automatic transmission. Uh, now with great fuel efficiency at 24 combined miles per gallon and a very smooth power delivery with 228 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. Uh, this thing's kind of engineered for a luxurious uh, smooth ride. On the outside here, part of the driver's convenience package, we get our uh, black roof rails. We got our built in blinker indicators with our uh, black mirror caps right there. We got blacked out badges all the way around. We got these high gloss black wheels. We got our Michelin Primacy Tour tires on there. They do work very, very well. This one here is finished off in a sterling silver metallic color. If we get the right angle here, you can see it's pretty dirty. Uh, but we do take a good step back and it does almost look like it was just washed. Uh, that's one of the great things about these darker metallic colors here in the North Country is they do hide the dirt and grime very well. Super, super popular. All right, here we have our daytime running LED lights, LED, fog, or, uh, LED headlamps right in the middle of those. We've got our, uh, our little sensors in these holes right here for our front parking assist or our forward collision alert. We have our high gloss black grill, front mounted mirror, uh, license plate bracket, we do have a passive key entry system in all four doors, so you just need the key in your pocket and with a press of a button, you can lock and unlock this vehicle. We do have a beautiful interior here, we will go over. Some really cool features, but first we'll give you a feel for the room in the back here. A few floor mats, we'll just move out of the way real quick. So uh, the back seats here is one of my favorite thing about this Acadia. You have a really, really nice uh, little uh, control screen here where you can control the, the modes in the back. You have a power outlet right there, 120 volt wall outlet charger. Uh, and then another cool feature, Type-C uh, charger for fast charging and a USB port for even more charging. And you do have a little cup holder here. This all slides out. A little hidden storage back there and also a really nice cup holder side by side so you don't get the drinks mixed up with the kids back here. Two of the same drink could be a problem. Now, I'm about six foot three, definitely on the taller side, and I have more than enough room here to sit back and, uh, and be comfortable. Um, definitely not limited for room back here. And then we have a whole nother row back there. Uh, one of the great things about this Acadia here, and actually we will step back here. So, as I said, I'm six foot three, definitely on the taller side. And even in the third row here, I got enough room uh, to sit back, kind of put my legs to the side and out and uh, be comfortable. Not living room from room back here either, uh, but we do have a little USB port for some charging way back here. We have a nice little uh, cup holder right there, a little storage space right here. Uh, and these seats do drop down with that little thing. I'll show you in just a minute here. We'll step around to the front now. From here, you kind of get that beautiful view. Some really cool features that come with this Acadia. Very cold out there today. So now in here, right off the bat, we have our eight wave power driver seat adjustments. We have our Bose premium sound system in this six speaker sound system. It sounds amazing. In here, we have our programmable lift gate controls. You got your max three quarter and off settings. Right up here, we have our parking brake, super out of the way, not uh, not hitting anything. It's not holding anything up over here. Super out of the way and uh, easy to use right there. Uh, mirror adjustments right here, window controls, all electronic. Uh, you do have your blind zone alert. If you can see with that little car right there, that will light up orange. If there's someone in your blind spot that you can't see. Now, this uh, steering wheel is pretty cool. You got your hands-free settings over here, good for audio and phone calls. Uh, you got your front uh, forward collision alert right there with your adaptive cruise control settings right there. Now, that'll set the pace between you and the car in front of you, uh, and it'll keep that distance. It'll brake for you, and it'll hit the gas for you. 
nice little chrome accent and then this uh, like brush silver uh, accent on the steering wheel there really nice look on that when uh, windshield wipers right here uh, and then your headlight controls right here now uh, this does come with IntelliBeam auto high beams with a little press of a button right there that'll turn on your IntelliBeam now that will turn off your high beams based on your traffic conditions outside uh, really cool feature if you're worried about um, having to turn off your high beams every time you see someone coming your way Right over here, we have a really cool uh, radio entertainment screen here. You do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's all wireless. You don't, don't need to have your uh, um, cords there to connect to Apple CarPlay. You got your MyGMC app, which is really cool. Um, plenty of accessibility features uh, on that. You can remote start, lock and unlock anywhere in the country. Um, you do have stolen vehicle assistance. They can slow down your vehicle. Uh, you got Sirius XM capability on Star. You got your climate app right here, which is kind of like a fully digital version of everything you got down here, uh, but very accessible. You do have your rear options right there. Uh, you do have your camera modes. Uh, where are we at here? Um, so I'll give you a quick look at the camera right now. So we do have an HD camera. You can turn the lines off and on. Right below some manual controls for that right here is your dual zone climate control really really cool feature you don't need to argue about the temperature or anything in the vehicle because you each get your own vents two vents each each side really nice look on those vents as well uh, you got your location settings right here and your fan settings in the middle you got your rear defroster right there uh, and then what we call an electronic precision shifter uh, really cool out of the way um, feature here now a lot of people think you could drop something on a uh, reverse gear maybe your drive gear uh, and mess something up you'll uh, you'll ruin your transmission but really um, these are uh, designed or engineered to uh, to be safe I guess uh, these toggle um, in and out and as you can see it'll make me press my foot on the brake to uh, to even shift it out um, but you can't drop anything on the reverse and um, drive neutral you can just tap um, again it's going to tell me i need to put my foot on the brake um, but putting it in a neutral definitely is not causing any issues um, keeping it in park is just a press uh, press of that button um, but the two that would engage your transmission and put it into a, a gear need to be pulled um, so they did think about that Right down here, we have our Type-C charger for fast charging, a USB port right next to that. We got a nine volt car port for even more charging, and then a ton of space right here for some storage. A uh, nice little rubber pad here to keep everything protected so you don't scratch up this uh, composite uh, material right here. Right here, some cool features. We got our auto start and stop. You can turn that off if you don't want uh, your vehicle turning off at the red lights and stuff. Uh, traction control right here. If you don't like that, you can turn it off. Um, good for those situations where you do get stuck and you uh, you want all four wheels spinning at the same time. You don't want uh, you want full responsiveness from that that gas pedal right there. And we got our parking assistant right here. Now, if you're pulling in or backing into a parking spot and it senses a uh, something in the way, uh, it will beep at you. It won't slam its brakes or it won't slam your brakes or anything and scare you. Right here is our side by side cup holders. Uh, really cool if you do get the same drink again, same as the back. Uh, you don't get it mixed up. Um, really distinct uh, feature that most people don't notice. For right here's your power or um, heat settings right here for your uh, heated seats. You do have your full three uh, three heat setting option right there for the bottom and back, but you also have your uh, three different heat settings for just the back. A really cool feature. So you could use that in the summer too if you have some back pain. Uh, really really nice feature. Right here's your lane keep assist, so lane departure warning. Now that'll do those minor adjustments for you um, on the on the highway, keep you in between those white lines. And if you don't like it doing the little steering for you, um, it will, or you can turn it off with just a press of a button right there. So right here is a really cool feature about this Acadia. Um, here's your engine control dial. You have a few different modes. So here's your, uh, here's your two high mode. That's gonna give you the best fuel mileage. Um, we have our all-wheel drive mode which is one over right there now it's going to utilize all four wheels in a high uh, capacity um, so you have full responsiveness the best traction you can get you got a race mode which will uh, stiffen your damping in your steering um, it'll make it more responsive uh, make the pedal more responsive uh, some pretty cool features that come with that here's your off-road mode so that'll automatically detect any slippage um, and it'll put it in all-wheel drive if it's not already uh, really nice feature uh, for mud, snow, sand, that kind of stuff. 
here's a beautiful leather app center console. Now this interior is cloth with a little white stitching there, uh, but you do get this nice cool little uh, leather feature on there. And this is the part you want to keep protected the most. You know, you put your arm on there, you don't want to wear down the cloth. Right here's a nice little uh, leather or, um, uh, foam pad to keep everything protected in there. Really nice feature. A ton of space in the center console as well. And right in the front here, we have a little uh, little storage space for maybe some change. We'll put this in too high. Now we will step around to the back, show you the rear lift gate. Uh, first, actually, we do have capless fuel fill, so don't need to get your hands dirty at the gas station, and you don't have that swinging up, scratching up this uh, beautiful sterling silver metallic paint. So beautiful, uh, almost tinted look on these tail lights here. We got a nice little black bar that goes across, and then this is a power lift gate. Uh, so we just a press of a button there that'll go ahead and lift up. As you can see, you got your power lift gate button right there to close it. Um, but like I said, these seats drop down with just these little levers right here. Um, or sorry, the front ones do. Uh, and then these back ones will pull down with just a little, um, little help here. So as you can see, a ton of cargo space uh, in this vehicle. It drops down flat for just an amazing amount of space. Three different rows for uh, your children or uh, different combinations here for storage. But it's uh, really cool. There's just a tap of a button that drops right back down. As you can see that uh, blacked out badging right there. Kind of like a plastic liner going all the way around the bottom here. Uh, keep everything protected and that's normally the parts that, uh, that start rusting first. Now Tony, that is our 2023 GMC Acadia SLE. Uh, with the elevation package and the driver convenience package. If you have any more questions about this beautiful SUV, feel free to give me a call. Don't hesitate. 802-776-5000 or stop by for a test drive at 65 Windcrest Road in Rutland, Vermont. You have a great day, sir.